What is up guys? Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. It is 2021 and I know you are all ready to jump into your New Year's resolutions and make some changes to your life and some of you that being weight loss. I thought no better time than to share my favorite supplements for weight loss. Disclaimer, supplements are to supplement what you are already doing. Nothing beats a healthy diet and exercise to so make sure you have those two under lock and key before adding supplements into your routine. You're like, but Emily, I have figured out my diet. I figured out my workout regimen and I am stagnant. I am no longer seeing results. This is now when we would implement supplements to help you aid in your weight loss journey. For starters, I recommend to everyone is a multivitamin. Multivitamins are sometimes looked over when you're looking at all the other crazy fun pre-workout and protein and all the other fun supplements to aid in your fitness journey. But multivitamins are obviously those key micronutrients that your body needs. All your vitamin C and your D and your zinc and your magnesium and all of the things in one nice compiled little you know? I think making sure your micronutrients is down to a T is very, very important. You can also get blood work done to see your other levels to see if you need to supplement more vitamin D or more zinc or more of this or more of that. Especially with us being in a pandemic, you might need to aid in some of those other supplements. But if you're wanting a quick, easy fix, I definitely just recommend a general multivitamin. Make sure you do your research into which ones are higher quality than others. The one that I prefer to take is the One Up multivitamin. Obviously, I am an affiliate with 1UP, so I'm a little bit biased, but I am gonna share with you and be completely honest, I've been with 1UP for well over a year now, and I do really enjoy their products. I actually have my multivitamin being shipped to me right now because I am out. But you can get these at your local grocery store and things like that. Make sure to read the ingredients, maybe do some research, look on Amazon, read some reviews before purchasing your multivitamin. After your multivitamin, I think the next thing we need to attack is your gut health. Gut health is so, so important, and I feel like either you hear about it a lot or you don't hear about it at all. And for me, I just never really heard about this when I started my journey. I didn't care about my gut health. I was like, give me the fat burners, let's do this. It was not the best decision in my, you know, journey. But that's why I'm sharing it with you. Now you need to attack your gut health. It's like giving your body an oil change. It has to like have its solid oil change to be running nice and smooth. And so incorporating a prebiotic, a probiotic, digestive enzymes are gonna help flush and really restore the digestive system. It'll help reduce gas and bloating and constipation. And it's gonna also help break down those harder to digest foods and just make you feel overall better in your tummy region. I used to struggle with bloating a lot, which I still do from time to time. I'm going to be realistic. But if you help your gut health, then your tummy is just going to feel a little bit better. You won't bloat as often, to be completely honest. So it helps break down those harder to digest foods and just really helping your overall, you know, tummy region feel its best. You can probably relate to this. You eat something and then a little bit later, you're like, oh my God, I can just feel it sitting there or oh my gosh, I'm suddenly bloated from all the sodium I had or whatever the case may be. This is where digestive enzymes, probiotics, prebiotics do you good. The one that I take is the gut help from 1UP Nutrition. Yes, all of my supplements are gonna be from 1UP Nutrition. I will link them down below and you can use my code Emily Lung to save some coins if you do want to support me. But by any means, you can find these products at your local grocery store and wherever else you shop for supplements. Why I like Gut Health by One Up Nutrition, it's your prebiotic, your probiotic, and your digestive enzyme all in one. Prior to being with One Up, I took all of these separately. Three separate pills now turned into one pill one time a day and it's just super, super easy and convenient. If you can get your digestion on lock, then you'll be obviously digesting your foods and breaking them down much easier, getting all the macro and micronutrients where it needs to go to aid in your overall body's health. You know what I mean? This product I'm gonna recommend is l Carantine, and I just realized I left mine in the refrigerator. l Carantine is, I guess, one of those fat burners, if you wanna call it, is non-stimulant, but it's going to help target the stored fat particularly in the belly region, but really all over. It's gonna help break down that stubborn fat and use it as energy. I like to take this first thing in the morning, just a tablespoon, boom, take like a little shot and start my day, go to the gym, do what I gotta do. And then if I'm feeling like I'm just a little sluggish, I need that boost of energy or I'm just feeling a little like heavy, I will take a second shot later in the afternoon, maybe before I go to work for my evening job, things like that. 
Definitely not necessary, but you can take it up to two times a day. Like I said, it is non-stimulant. It helps your endurance and it's gonna help break down that stored stubborn fat. Product I wanna talk about is protein. Yes, good old handy dandy protein. You hear a lot about it. The one I mainly wanna to talk to you about is getting an ISO protein. If you are wanting to obviously lose weight, the ISO protein is gonna be less fat and less carbs than your typical whey protein. So these I don't think are too, too different, but just to give you an idea, this is normal whey and this is ISO. And one scoop of whey is 138 calories and one scoop of ISO is 109 calories. This one being two grams of fat to zero grams of fat, five grams of carbs, one gram of carbs, and both having 25 grams of protein. So that's kind of like the breakdown difference of whey and ISO. Just if you're trying to save those extra macros, if you're tracking your macros, ISO is a good way to get high protein, low, low fat, and low, low carbs. So definitely recommend when picking out a protein, especially with proteins, make sure you're looking into the ingredients. You can get some really nasty chemicals and just your random protein pickup. I definitely recommend researching the best. These are all lab tested, no artificial ingredients, very, very premium products. You can read into it, read the reviews, and look up the full ingredient description over on OneUp's website, which I will link down below. Our body uses proteins for a lot of different things in our body, but we are talking just about our fitness journey here today, and that is gonna be our muscle recovery and our muscle mass. We're trying to build muscle, lose fat. The more muscle you put on the body, the more fat you're going to burn throughout the day. That metabolic rate, we're trying to get that as high as we can, and so the more muscle we can pack on our body, the less fat we're gonna have on our body. Why I also like having a protein is because it's a very good sweet tooth craving. You can get some really, really good flavors of these. Chocolate, vanilla, cookies and cream, brownie, like all these crazy sweet tooth that you can create. Really awesome sweet treats with the protein. Obviously my two favorites are coffee flavors. This is literally the coffee flavor ISO, and this is the caramel toffee macchiato whey protein. I do still have like consume whey. I've just leaned a little more towards the ISO or vegan options. I'll also list the vegan one down below. It is quite delicious. Um, and the macros for that as well, in case you're you know wanting to be dairy free, because obviously both of these are dairy proteins. I recommend having a protein shake post-workout. Put some food in your stomach, recover the muscles, build them back together after you tore them apart, or as a meal replacement. But if you do have a protein shake as a meal replacement, make sure you're having something on the side with it. A salad, some broccoli, I don't know, something to get your greens in because this isn't like a full meal and some people think of it that way, but you're not getting your micronutrients with this. You're just sol solely getting your protein fix. So just remember that if you do use it as a meal replacement option. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna talk fat burners. The almighty fat burner. I hate the term and I have used them. From switching over to being fully one-up supplements, I definitely dabbled in all the different fat burners and they definitely can make you feel crazy. But that's why they're like the last thing I personally think you should incorporate in your routine. I think everything prior to this is well more important than a fat burner. But the two from one up that I've used is the Macrolean Max. This says you can take up to four capsules. I have never, that's a lie, I took it one time and I will never take it again. Work your tolerance up one, and then when you don't feel it, two. We need to work up to the four capsules because it is way too intense. You'll be dripping sweat, do not do it. What I do like about this product though, it does give you that like mental clarity and that focus when you're ready to get into the gym. Um, do not drink caffeine with this within so many hours. I actually think it tells you this on the label because it is a stimulant. You do not want a stimulant fat burner. Do not use this, use the L-carantine because this is very, very stimulant, but it does help your energy, your mood, and your focus going into that workout if you're working out in the morning because you take this once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Never take it close to the evening. Even if you forget, just don't do it because you'll be up all night. It also has appetite suppressant. Um, 
that help you, you know, eat less, I guess. I've still always been hungry, but I'm an eater, so I haven't noticed that too, too much, but it does claim that. But I think if you're looking for that higher stimulant fat burner, Make Curly Max is a really, really great option. I am gonna start this on Monday. You need to cycle on and off of this, in my opinion. So I'll be doing this for the month of January only, and then I'll probably be off it for a few months. The next one is definitely an interesting product and definitely my favorite of the two fat burner options, and that is Beauty Dream. And this is a sleeping aid. And what I love about this product is it helps you sleep through the night, but you are not drowsy in the morning. We've all had those sleeping pills or done something and you're just so drowsy the next morning. This does not do that. This promotes relaxation and a deeper level of sleep. And if you are sleeping better, you are going to be better in all aspects of life, but especially with your recovery. Your body has to recover from what you've done to it in the gym or at work or whatever to be its better self. So if you're not sleeping your full, what, seven or eight hours at night, your body isn't recovering enough to keep going to hit those goals. This also supports your metabolic rate while you're sleeping. So be careful how you take this. I don't want you to think like I'm burning fat in my sleep, although that's what it sounds like, but it's helping your metabolic rate as you sleep. Does that even make sense? <laughs> so yes, it is aiding in weight loss while you sleep by helping your metabolic rate and helping you be in a deeper sleep while doing that. Did that all make sense? Did it add up? I hope it did in your brain. It's linked down below if you want more information on it. They describe it much better than me. <laughs> The last bit of information I wanna leave you with are just three big tips for your weight loss journey. First one is to hydrate. If you are not hydrating, your body cannot function and flush out the toxins in your body, making you hold on to that weight. Ideally, a gallon a day is my you know, golden standard. Do I meet that every day? No, but if you're striving to hydrate throughout the day, you are gonna be better off with your weight loss journey. My second tip for you guys is to get 30 minutes of activity every day. And it doesn't have to be high intensity. You can literally be walking your dog, go on a hike, go for a swim, do what you do to get active for 30 minutes. It doesn't necessarily mean you need to go to a spin class, you need to go to gold, you gotta do what you gotta do, like whatever is physically active for you for 30 minutes a day. And my last and final tip for you guys is my favorite, 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 favorite tip on the planet. And if you incorporate it, I promise you it's going to make life so much easier. And that is to have a colorful plate. This tip has changed it for me. I don't know what it is, but you remember the old school, like plate image you learned in elementary school back in the day. And it like showed the different colors, like veggies and meats and carbs and this. That is what's always been engraved in my head. And if I think make a colorful plate, I am golden. You see those beautiful Instagram worthy images of all these beautiful meals because they're covered in vegetables because vegetables are colorful. So for me, the minimum is three colors to every meal, minimum. Your chicken's one color, your sweet potato's orange, your broccoli's green. That's just like a basic example. You make a salad, tomatoes, carrots, lettuce, spinach because your romaine and your spinach are different colors at least in my opinion they are if you add some egg on there for some protein whatever it is the more colors the better but set three as your minimum standard i hope these tips and these supplements help you out in your journey if you have any questions please comment them down below and feel free to follow me on instagram i'm going to be posting more of my workouts again i know a lot of you have been saying you've been missing that quarantine kind of tested my limits at home workouts, but I will be back to doing that and helping you guys through your journey. If you made it this far and you want more fitness related videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. It really helps me out and you can turn on my notification bell for any time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end and I hope you smash your 2021 goals. Bye guys.